Hi everybody, this is Alex Vitikov. Today is a great day. You know why is it a great day? Because it's a great day to open a new computer. It's always a good day, right? Yeah. So I got, I have received this Mac Mini just yesterday. I have ordered it from DNH and was waiting for it like months and a half. And the reason is why, because uh, this one has 16 gigabyte of RAM and 512 gigabyte of SSDs and it was not available I don't know what's the reason but it was delayed and delayed and delayed so and uh, you can see I have another one which is same machine M1 the difference is this one is 8 gigabyte RAM and 256 gigabyte SSD and because I was waiting for this too long, I was impatient to find out uh, <clears throat> how good is this machine. So I bought this one just to try and see how good it will perform. And it's surprisingly very, very good. Uh, if you haven't seen my video about this one, uh, the link will be, the, the title of the video is, is right there. So you can check it out. I do pretty much comprehensive, I would say, overview and test of this machine. In that video, there will be four timelines in FCPX with different file formats, clips, with some color adjustment. And also there will be a graphics, animated graphics on a fifth lane. It's pretty intensive ed editing, I would say. But you'll be surprised what you will see in that video. I was surprised big time. So that's why I bought this machine. And I'm glad I did because it gave me some uh, perspective on new Apple M1 chips, new architectures they're doing. And it's great. It's, I didn't expect it. It was pretty good. I mean, not pretty good. It's excellent. For this type of machine, I mean, it's $699. What can you buy for that money? Can you even come close to edit 4K for that kind of money? No way. I don't think so. But this machine, it just overperforms even my old computer, which is uh, Windows-based, and I, I came to... Uh, this time from Premiere Pro, my machine is 32 gigabyte RAM, uh, a lot of storage space, and processor is pretty good. It's kind of old, uh, four years old, almost five years old now, but it was performing pretty good. But what I was able to get from this machine uh, with FCPX, I was never able to do this on Premiere Pro, especially when it's so many timelines and so many, uh, you know, 4K videos involved. No way, no way. So that's why it's a great day because uh, I can tell you, this is eight gigabyte RAM and everything was working fine and I was happy. The only little downside, maybe not downside, uh, when I started exporting, it took um, for 13 minutes clip, uh, it took 22 minutes to export it. Again, I'm not sure why, it's not necessary this because of this 8 gigabyte RAM. It could be also because I've edited the whole thing uh, on this hard drive. So. Uh, I was editing from this hard drive. It's a Samsung T5 hard drive, which is not the fastest. Uh, I did it on purpose just to see if this one will be good enough to edit. Uh, I could have done on a much faster SSD, which is NVMe M.2. This one, uh, it's in enclosure and it's like um, four times faster than this one. 
So I wonder if that would make exportion time shorter. But I did it on purpose because this way now I can check out for sure next time I will export from this hard drive with this machine with 16 gigabyte RAM I will see for sure what's the difference so is that 16 gigabyte will make big difference in performance or it's not so big difference so we'll see you know so okay let's make it great day it's a great day to open new computer always great day to open new computer if you disagree with me you probably never ever have opened <laughs> a new computer i'm improvising i'm a musician so uh that my skills <laughs> <laughs> okay, as always, ta-da! Here it comes. Here it comes. New Mac Mini M1. Come out, please. It's coming out. Now we have this, as always, paperwork. I don't know if anybody reads it. I personally don't. Here is power cable to connect it to power plug and um, they always roll it in a fancy way, it's Apple. Uh, it's good power cable, I guess. I mean, I know I <laughs> have connected and that's it. And the price difference. I forgot to tell you. So this is $6.99. This one is $10.99. So the difference is $400, which is pretty substantial for another 8 gigabyte of RAM and another 256 gigabyte of storage. And storage is not a big concern actually because you can edit you can add uh, Thunderbolt docks, as I did. If you watch this video, you'll see I, uh, I show what I have connected to this little boy. And it, they did just fine. There is no need to get a big amount of SSD storage, basically. You're paying uh, big bucks to Apple, and it's not necessary, that's for sure. I don't know about RAM. I'll see. I'll see when I start working with this Mac. So I'll find out if we need more RAM. Probably we do. In most cases, usually it's it's a good thing to have. But as far as I storage SSDs, as I said. Uh, so, here is two Thunderbolt 3 ports, which gives you not a lot of connectivity uh, options, because it's only two, but, again, if you connect here to each port some Thunderbolt dock or hub, this will expand your connectivity options a lot. I mean, a lot you can connect many many things to here and a good thing is about these uh, two ports I found out that uh, each port has its own bus and each bus is capable of 2800 megabyte per second speed so that is a uh, good news it's, it's pretty decent for I mean again for for this kind of money it's good so we will see i'll do comparison and i'll report to you guys uh, is it worth to pay more 400 dollars for this machine if you're doing video editings like um, heavy video editings including graphics and all this stuff 
or this 69, I mean 699 machine is enough to do most of the stuff. Again, thank you for watching my video. Again, go back. I would re recommend uh, to watch that video because that is a lot of information over there. Thank you for watching. Uh, any questions or suggestions, I would appreciate if you put in a comment so we will know um, if you have any good suggestions for different um, connectivities, different configurations, or if you have uh, some experience with these machines, so maybe you'll get uh, some tips so we can we can use your advice. Basically, so give me a thumb up. If you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, to our channel, uh, subscribe and I'll see you in next video. Bye now.